So far, so good for top seed mission prep in the CIF Central Section Division Three playoffs. The Royals hosting a semifinal game against Kennedy of Delano. The Rooster was in San Luis Obispo for the highlights and the jokes. Hey, Mike, the weather is cold, but these two teams come in tonight red hot as eight and three mission prep, welcoming in nine and two Kennedy. Now, this should be an interesting game because the Royals have been averaging 33 points per game on offense. Over on the other side, the Thunderbirds have only been given up nine points per game on defense. I don't know who's going to win this game, but I do know we're going to get you the results faster than the California election. Let's get to the highlights. Mission Prep looking to get back to their first CIF championship game since 2018. That was when they dropped down to eight-man football, but they're back to 11-man. And now here, first quarter, fourth and five. Colby White can't find anybody, but he's rolling out, and he's just going to keep right on rolling. A lot of real estate there, picking up the first down. A couple plays later, Cole Tanner getting the call, and Tanner going to give the T-Birds a little coal in their stocking. Royals responding first up seven at 10 nothing. These kids look good. No coal in their stockings this year. T-Birds respond. Jimenez Helm getting the call, punches it in for six, and just like that, we're tied up at seven. Now we move late in the second quarter, second and nine, Colby White dropping back and uh, this flight's leaving late from San Luis and it's gonna arrive on time in Jamar Howard's hands. Great catch right down the sideline. They're back in business inside the red zone a few plays later. Why not throw one out again? This time to Tyler Garrett and he's catching it like Stefan Diggs. Garrett right now hotter than the cooking oil in my frying pan. It's 14 to seven Royals at that point. And then just before the half though, the T-Birds coming right back, little screen pass out to the wide receiver helm. And he fights past about five defenders to get into the end zone. We are now tied up at 14 at the half. Third quarter, fourth and one helm. Gonna bust this one right through the middle. And then he says, see ya. He's gone 45 yards to the house, Kennedy. Now retakes the lead, 21 to 14 at that point. Royals starting too many drives tonight down deep in their own territory and like real estate, it was all about location, location, location and they just could not get it. And Mission Prep falls to Kennedy tonight, unfortunately 27 to 14. Still a great year for the Royals though. They need to keep their heads up high, eight and four of their final record. It was a fun season for Friday Football Focus in San Luis Obispo tonight. Kevin Roos, Mike, sending it back to you. Thank you, Rooster. It was a good season for mission prep indeed. Well, back to the CIF Southern section where the Wyneme Vikings were excited for their semifinal game. This was a scene earlier in the day as the campus gave the Vikings a pep rally for their first semifinal football appearance since 1998. Donald Thompson years. Vikings traveling to Cerritos to face Valley Christian. Few highlights to show you courtesy of BCS Prep's Twitter. Josiah Gibson, short touchdown run for Wyneme. Aiden Avidia. Runs in the two-point conversion to tie the game at 14, but they trailed at half 21-14. Valley Christian extending the lead late in the third quarter to 28-14 as Joe DeYoung scores. Wainimi loses by the final score of 28-14. Fine season, though, for the Vikings. In Division 6, Calabasas losing late at San Jacinto, 15-14. When we come back, City College football talks about their upcoming home bowl game and former Carpinteria High School star Chris Gokong was inducted tonight into the Cal Poly Hall of Fame. We'll hear from him next. 